affirming and spiritual bypassing. Spiritual bypassing is, you know, you know, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not good. And it's having that reality of what is it that we hope for? What is it that we know is true? And what is it that we can aspire to be? And what is it that we can hold on to? And so, you know, about a week or so ago, I had this vision in meditation and I saw this garden and it was this vast garden and it was magnificent. And I started composing this concept of, okay, well, if God is all there is, and I truly believe that God is all there is, then this garden of God is filled with so many wonderful things. And it becomes part of the responsibility to do the harvesting. You know, we can sit there and say, grow plant, grow. But if we don't do anything to, to, to help the plant to grow, you know, it probably won't grow. So my talk today is about the garden of God and we're gonna pull weeds today. For those of you who've ever done any gardening, uh, we're gonna do some, um, some weed pulling today and we're gonna do some seed planting so that our harvest for 2021 gets off to a good start so that we can put these seeds into the ground, into the soil, into the law that Ernest Holmes has taught us about the law and how we can produce those magnificent flowers or magnificent uh, expressions of what it is that we want to see for ourselves for 2021. So I'm going to invite you now to uh, bear with me as I load up a little slide presentation for us. And so, this is the Garden of God, and um, I'm hoping that everyone can see. Peggy, are we able to see this? Deborah or Peggy, are we? Do we have a good visual? No, we don't have visual yet. Okay. okay, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Okay, one second here. Okay, here we go. And so this, are we able to see now, yes? Okay, very good. All right, wonderful. So we're gonna be talking about the Garden of God, 2021 harvest. And if we look at those beautiful flowers, you know, um, if we think about what does it take to, for a flower to grow? Um, you know, when they're growing out in the wild, really all they, all they need is sunlight. Um, they need water. Um, they need to have good conditions uh, to be able to um, bloom magnificently. Um, so sometimes when we have our own gardens in our homes, if you have a garden at, at your home or looking at around, uh, you know, maybe you do some co-op farming, um, you know, there's some certain care that needs to be done in regards to get those magnificent flowers. And so we're going to talk a little bit about 2021 or 2020 and what might have grown in your garden. Um, so we certainly know that fear um, had more than likely entered into our garden of life in some aspect. Uh, perhaps doubt had entered into your garden. Um, isolation. We certainly had to learn how to be with ourselves this year. Uh, in some ways, we really didn't want to be with ourselves. And, you know, we were forced out of our communities you know, as, as a result of this organization, as this fellowship, as many, 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 many others have had to resort to being in a new alternative. And so, you know, we were isolated from each other. Um, perhaps some resentment popped into play. You know, this was a political year, uh, 2020 was, and there was a tremendous amount of anxiety and frustration and anger that was, um, 
very well known around the country and around the world. And then of course, anger, you know, how could this happen? What, you know, why is all this happening? You know, I'm so angry at the way people are reacting. I'm so angry at how, how things are turning out to be. And, and so we have all of those emotions that are real. And so maybe you had a lot of plans for 2020. Maybe you had plans of taking, you know, a really nice trip or you were gonna go on a cruise or, you know, maybe you had plans of going to, to Disney World or, you know, you were gonna go for that fantastic uh, uh, getaway, you know? So a lot of things had changed for us in 2020. And so whenever we experience what Ernest called the conditions, um, we stop, you know, a lot of us just stop moving and we stop looking at other things that are possible or that are probable and we get fixated on the weeds. And that's what I call those things, those things, weeds, those pesky weeds. Um, and they're a part of life, they're a part of nature. And so in, in, as a practitioner, where at least I'm always practicing and pulling weeds, uh, pulling weeds from my garden. And so today I'm gonna help you pull some weeds today. So what weeds grew in your garden for 2020? Maybe fear grew. Maybe you experienced some loneliness or depression. Uh, maybe your income was extremely affected. Maybe there was a lot of anger that was um, circulating in your mind and in your, in your environment. Um, maybe an addiction popped up, you know? Uh, I can tell you, uh, until I became very mindful of what was going on, I became very addicted to the news. I became very addicted to watching what was going on in the world. I became very addicted to the numbers of COVID and I became very addicted to um, those news circulations. And, you know, as a result of watching it day in and day out, um, I developed a lot of fear. Um, I developed a lot of fear, fear for my friends, fear for my family, fear for, fear for me, you know. Um, so those weeds show up in many different ways, you know, and they show up in, in ways that stop us from moving forward into joy, into love, into light, into those God qualities that we all are. And so you know, so for tonight, today, we're going to, um, we're going to do a little weed pulling. Um, and we're going to go into um, a little bit of a meditation, uh, about five minutes. And I'm going to show you and walk you through a little guided meditation to help pull those weeds that may still be lingering in your garden of God. Okay. So are you ready to pull some weeds? <laughs> All right, that sounds great. Okay, Peggy, we'll go ahead and do your magic. You just look at that on the screen right there. You have a doorway or a circle, perfect circle. It leads out into beautiful forest. You can see flowers down there by the trees, white flowers, yellow flowers. So in this meditation, we're going to move forward through that circle. We're going to move to those flowers. 
we're going to pull some weeds. So I invite you now to close your eyes if you're comfortable in doing so. And just take a deep breath. Just let it out. And just kind of notice if there's any tightness in your body. Maybe your jaw might be clenched or your shoulders might be hunched. Just give yourself a little relaxation there on cleansing your jaw, dropping your shoulders. Just breathe with me now. Breathing in the breath of God. And so I invite you now to envision a large flat screen TV before you. And on the screen it says 2020. And the movie begins to play. Starting with January 1, 2020. Just take a look at where you were on January of 2020, what you were doing, what you were feeling, what you were experiencing. And as the film continues to move, it comes up to February 2020. And then March. Perhaps maybe some weeds started showing up in your life in March, 2020. Moving into April now. Moving into May. May is a time for harvest and Perhaps what was being harvested in May of 2020 was not the flower garden that you were anticipating or expecting. Perhaps the weeds have now grown. We move into June, in July, and maybe you can't even see your garden anymore. Maybe there's a lot of dense weeds in this garden. We move into August, September. See if you can see flowers in your garden now. Maybe one or two is popping through. Move into October and November, 2020. Moving into December. And now next to you is a weed whacker. And I want you to pick up that weed whacker and I want you to go to that garden and I want you to turn that weed whacker on. And you can see yourself now using that weed whacker, cutting down all those weeds, cutting them down one by one. Getting them ready now to move out of your garden so that you can plant seeds for a new harvest. And 
you can pull them and cut them and get rid of them now. Just make them go away. Maybe you want to burn them or blow them up. However you want to do that. Just clear out your garden. And now when you're ready, you can just take a nice deep breath in and exhale. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. And so I would like for you to repeat after me. I release any and all negative attachments to 2020. I release any and all negative attachments to 2020. I release any and all negative attachments to 2020. I release any and all negative attachments to 2020. So it's time to plant new seeds. So I'm gonna ask you a question. What do you expect to see in 2021? Let's take a moment now and think about that. What do you expect to see in 2021? being mindful to make for sure that you are planting those seeds of positivity, planting those seeds of wholeness, of abundance, peace, love. What do you expect to see? And the next question is what vision do you have for your life in 2021? What vision do you have for your life in 2021? If you were to have a pair of binoculars and you were looking out through that portal into the garden, what vision, what vision do you have for 2021? I see a really large yacht on a beautiful body of water. And I see, I see Italy in the distance. What vision do you have for your life in 2021? readjust my uh, binoculars. Oh, I see a visit to Santa Fe. I see a visit to New Mexico. I see lots of travel. Maybe you see a, a project that you're looking at. It's like, oh, I started on this and oh my gosh, it's gonna be done. It's beautiful. 
maybe maybe you you sat down this year and you wrote a book and, and all of a sudden oh my gosh it's published people are buying my book maybe you see yourself in the best physical health you've ever been in your life what vision do you see because you have a very fertile garden right now So what I'm going to invite you to do after this service today is to take some time and take a journal out and go within and, and, and look at what you expect. You know, we expect our good, right? We expect it. We demand it. So what vision do you have for 2021? What vision do you see for yourself? And so I'm going to invite you now to close your eyes in holding that vision in your mind. And I'm going to repeat this for you today. I know that all the good there is belongs to me. God is good. Good is God. I am surrounded by good. See it, feel it. I am surrounded by good. I am enveloped in it. I feel its presence. All the old thoughts of fear and doubt and uncertainty have vanished. Within me is the presence and the power and the will to know and to do and to be. There is nothing in me that can limit me. There is nothing in me that can limit me. How does that feel? What does your garden look like now? I see lots of sprouts and little sproutlings just starting to bubble up right through the soil right now as it is because there is all of that positivity and knowingness and all of that great energy is right there. And so all you have to do is to water it, to nourish it, and to know it, and to shine your light on it all day long. This little exercise is gonna be available for you on um, Facebook. And I encourage you to do this practice and do this exercise and do that affirmation every single day, every single day. Because I can tell you that the magnificence of whatever your vision for 2021 is, is far greater than what you can imagine it to be right now. I know this to be true for you. Namaste.